Well, Christine, just moments ago, the fire department started the somber process, as you can see over my shoulder, of hanging black and purple bunting outside this firehouse where Christopher Slutman worked. He is being remembered as a loving father and husband and a selfless firefighter and Marine. He put his life on the line routinely. 43-year-old Christopher Slutman personified courage and honor at Ladder 27 in the Bronx. Christopher Slutman, uh, an American hero, a New York hero, and we mourn his loss today. Slutman dedicated his life to service, not only as a fireman here, but as a 19-year volunteer with the Kentland Fire Department in Maryland and as a United States Marine. It was in Afghanistan where Slutman made the ultimate sacrifice. We spoke by phone with his grieving father. They knocked, so I went and turned the porch light on and opened the door and I saw him in uniform. I said, this is not good. The Taliban tweeted this picture, which they claim shows the moment after a roadside bomb went off. Slutman was killed along with two other U.S. service members and a civilian contractor. A U.S. official says when a convoy of American vehicles drew even with a car on the side of the road, the car detonated. Back here in the States, the FDNY traveled to Slutman's home in Delaware to help support his wife and three young children. It affects I think everybody, everybody wants you, wants you lose somebody, and you speci especially when you kind of know the, you know, in your neighborhood. So yeah, it, it's very, very saddening. Outside his Bronx firehouse, the flag now hangs at half staff. He was good. He was always positive. He was always doing things for people. So you felt good after you were with him, and if you were having a problem, he would help you. Back out here live, you can see dozens of firefighters as well as police officers out here paying their respects to Christopher Slutman. He was awarded for bravery back in 2014 for saving an unconscious woman in an apartment fire here in the Bronx. Funeral arrangements are pending. Live in the Claremont section of the Bronx, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Okay.